Hello housing enthusiasts and welcome to HGXIV's Break It Down series. I'm Rhapsody and I will be showing you how to create the super popular rounded bay window. While this video will only be showing how to build the window itself, here are all of the items you need to create the window seat in the picture as well. We've chosen not to fast forward any parts of this video since it's one of the more difficult builds to make. Let's start with the first window. We'll set down our stage panel and wooden beam and place the imitation square windows on the beam. This is done with the sub command menu glitch, which consists of taking an item from your storage and using the display sub command menu keybind to place it. This first window is going to be right in the middle of the bay window, so I'll float the window and move the stage panel away. After the middle window, I try to work in pairs, so I'll place windows 2 and 3 on the wooden beam next. You can see the windows don't have to be perfectly aligned when you first place them. I'll fix that later. Now I'll rotate the whole stage panel one grid snap rotation and align it with the first window. You can already clearly see that the second window is not at the same height as the first. That's easy to fix though, just turn off grid snap and move the entire beam up or down on the stage panel. I want my window panes to look seamless, so I'm going to try to hide any of the excess lines from window 2. It's important to note that all of these windows are what we call backwards. The front of the window is facing away from the rest of the room. We do this to avoid recreating the flood of light here on the source, and because the profile of the wooden frame on the window is less pronounced on the back side. This makes it easier to hide the seams and make the bay window look like one single window. Now I'll float window 2 and move the stage panel away from the construction zone. I find it easier to work with the windows when they're near the edge of the wooden beam. That's just personal preference for me. Now I'll rotate the whole stage panel two grid snaps. One to get back to flush with the first window and one more to angle it the opposite direction of window 2. Next, I need to line up the windows so I can get them at the same height again. This is really easily done just by moving the wooden beam up or down a little to make them line up. Very careful mouse movements here. Now I'll carefully align window 3 on the left side of window 1, again so no extra lines are showing. The goal is for this to look seamless and even, which means a lot of rocking my character back and forth and moving my mouse millimeters at a time. I know it looks like I'm just messing around, but I'm trying to line these up very precisely. Always check to make sure no other windows have attached themselves to your wooden beam before moving your stage panel. If they have, float each window that appears to be attached by turning off counter placement, clicking the window, and then hitting escape to let it fall back into place. That's what we call floating, which is not to be confused with lofting. The rest of this window is all just repeating the same steps. You can see I like to work the windows in pairs, so I always know where I am in the big picture of the bay window. Windows 4 and 5 were rotated two grid snaps from our starting point, and windows 6 and 7 will be rotated three grid snap rotations. You can really see the curve starting to form now. The 
This window requires lots of tiny precise movements and it can be utterly heartbreaking to accidentally move something that was already perfectly placed. Another tip I have for you is to make sure that you don't fully exit the housing menu while your stage panel or wooden beam are anywhere near the windows. This can cause the floated windows to snap to the wall surface if it's close enough and it'll thoroughly misalign your bay window. So I need to get my wooden beam back in here and um, try to grab just this one window here because I really am trying to make it exactly even with the opposite side window pane. And so I'm trying to move it just like the tiniest pixel over to the right so that it's the same size as the window panes on the right side. So this is just one of those tiny little minuscule adjustments that um, this window really requires. Okay, I think I got it. It can also be helpful to dye the windows in different colors to tell them apart, at least until you're done building it. This way, it will be easier to distinguish which one you need to float next, or if any of the already placed windows have snapped to your beam. I'm silly and used windows that I already had in storage, so these are all pure white. Oops. Still working on the tiny movements that it takes to align all of these windows, <sighs> but the end result is so worth it. I'd love to see a fully circular room with this idea. If anyone makes that, please tag HGXIV so I can see it. And we're rotating one, two, three rotations. Oops, I didn't mean to float that wooden beam. Let's reattach that to the stage panel. Gosh, this is such a pretty design. Big shout out to Big Jun Steel on Durandal for sharing this with the world. That man is such a genius. Final check to make sure nothing is attached to the wooden beam. Float window 7. And now I can move the stage panel away and get rid of the beam. There you have it, a rounded bay window for your Final Fantasy XIV house. We hope you found this video useful. For more Break It Down videos, house walkthroughs, and podcast episodes, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. Let us know in the comments what build you would like to see next. Until next time, happy housing!